We as an organization always say that 5G for few or 4G for all. So right now, 4G for all is something that we are focusing on because I was also talking in my uh, speech over there that the Pakistan population is growing at a very rapid rate. Two plus percentage points on a 250 million population is, you know, we are inducting 5 million people into uh, affordable arena for mobile technology almost uh, every year. So that shows that we uh, have not saturated the growth and the growth options with respect to 4G. We have been in the business for just selling data as GBs, minutes, SMSs, all those things. Jazz has started pivoting towards introducing services like Tamasha, which is a very, very big TV platform. Jazzcash, which is the largest fintech in Pakistan. Because now when those things start coming into play, you can actually take those GBs and have something to do with that. Because just using it on the social media has been uh, an option for the customers for the longest time. But when we start talking about high-end technologies, there has to be more to do it. So we want to just not be providing GBs even for use cases. That is why I feel there is still a long way to go with respect to 4G. Right now, 50% uses mobile broadband in Pakistan. That has to go up to a significant level before the transitioning to 5G can happen. And 5G, what we need to understand is, is not just a consumer technology. Because as one of the speakers uh, from the MOIT was saying that if you get one GBPS or 500 Mbps, what do you do? For a customer, uh, uh, what we have seen for a regular 4G customer, anything around 5, 6, 7 Mbps fulfills their need. They can do video streaming, they can do Facebook Live, YouTube, all those things. So if I give them 100, there is no tangible benefit for them as of right now. So we need to work on the use cases where the NUST lab comes into play. Then we also need to engage with the corporate sector because many big use cases of 5G are actually streamlining the operations of the businesses. So they need to be also made aware of what this technology can do for them and they should be ready to partner us. And one of the things that is going to be key is the product development cannot be done by the telecom operators alone. You will need to have the ecosystem of investors, of entrepreneurs who actually develop use cases that in collaboration with the telecom operators can sell to the B2B and B2C customers.